Ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally come. This is no longer the only image that we have of this Optimus Prime. So, in case you don't know or don't remember, these prototype images well, of this truck mode and the robot mode were shown off at the end of October last year. That is just over four months ago. And the reason why I'm so excited today is this these images were released alongside the prototype images of the Byway Scourge, which, if you don't know, is the is my most anticipated figure of 2024. I don't give a shit about what Hasbro is doing. I cannot be asked anymore. Their, their Rise of the Beast stuff is meh. There's no Bayverse. I mean, the Mohawk is the only Bayverse this year. Next year, it's making a return, thank goodness. But yeah. Hasbro has really fumbled it for 2024, um, but yeah, this Byway Scourge is what I'm most excited for. I have deliberately held myself back from buying the official Scourge and the Black Mamba and the other KO of it alongside the KO upgrade kits. I have completely avoided doing that. It has been very difficult, but it is finally possible that we could be getting uh, official images of this thing very soon. Because like I said, these prototype images were released alongside that of the Optimus Prime. And speaking of which, it's about time I stop talking about Peter Dinklage and start talking about Peter Cullen. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the Byway Rise of the Beasts Optimus Prime. Now, I am going to just start this off by saying, before we actually look at the figure, that packaging is fucking beautiful. That genuinely looks like Transformers packaging, you know, except obviously instead of Transformers along the side, it says Byway. I absolutely love that packaging. Um, I do think that's the DLX, um, Rise of the Beast Prime, I don't know. Any non-transforming figure that's not a Yolo Park thing, I don't know anything about. So I don't even know if there is a DLX Rise of the Beast Prime. But anyway, that packaging looks fantastic. Oh, that reminds me, stay tuned to the end of the video where I will be mentioning something awesome that I've done. But moving on to the figure here, he is the Byway Prime. So you have Optimus there. You do have the giant gray things, which I will get to just now. You have his arm cannons. You have his energon blades. You have an axe. You have a hologram of Earth, of course, from the Bumblebee movie. You have his rifle, which for some odd reason is has two colors. Why? I don't understand why the top of the blaster is painted silver when the rest of it is black. Why didn't they just make the whole thing black? No fucking clue what this is. And of course we have a trailer hitch. I mean, that's just a cool overhead shot of all the accessories. And here he is with his guns attached. Now, something that I am immediately going to complain about is the paint on the blasters. Why is it such a matte gray? Like, could they not have made it like a dark silver or, hell, even a bright silver? Then as well, I know that we're getting into an inappropriate area of Optimus Prime. But you can see on the front of the thighs that there is a line there that they should have technically shaved down uh, before painting the figure. And then on the inside of his thighs, they are for some reason not painted. Um, I don't understand that. That makes zero sense to me. But this is the least of the issues with this figure, unfortunately. My main issue is that head sculpt. What the hell are those eyes? Seriously, what the freak? He looks like he's about to cry. He looks like he's tearing up. That looks absolutely horrible. Here is a picture of him in his vehicle mode and of course looking beautiful. There wasn't really a way for them to stuff this one up. I really, really like the vehicle mode on this Optimus. And I actually go so far as to say that I prefer it to the robot mode. This is where all of those gray pieces from earlier come into play because now you assemble your own Noah Diaz. As you see, you of course get the torso piece, the legs, 
two heads for some reason. I don't really know what the purpose of the bottom head is. Then you get a pair of arms with the blasters attached, or the blasters coming out, should I say. And you have a pair of arms with uh, the arm blades coming out, which this is definitely inferior to the one that comes with the MHC or whatever it's called, uh, Supreme Commander, which overall, I know that you were waiting for me to compare them. That figure is infinitely better than this one. I mean, that literally comes with anything you can think of and more. The amount of accessories that figure has is crazy. And not only that, that Optimus is a more leader class sized figure. Because while, yes, the Rise of the Beast Studio Series Voyager Prime is considered like leader class size nowadays because, let's be honest, leader class in 2024, it's just a fancy Voyager class. That one is infinitely better because that Noah Diaz looks fantastic. This, the only paint on it is the fucking like taillights or whatever it is. Such a disappointment. But anyway, here he is in truck mode, towing SS44's trailer. Oh, actually, this looks like the byway version of it. And I'm going to be honest, that looks so cool. That looks really, really, really good. And I'm glad to see that they did do what MHC did, and that is make the top of the cab red. So you don't have any of that ugly gray patches that uh, SS102 had, like the official version. But this is something that is absolutely beautiful. And that is the fact that this figure can combine with the uh, with SS44's jetpack. An unnecessary gimmick to say the least, but one that I think is gonna make a lot of people happy because you know, this isn't something a lot of people are gonna do, but it looks really, really good. And I can't lie when I say I actually think that this looks as good as it does on SS44. And finally, that this is how you can store all the shit on his vehicle mode, which no one with a brain is going to do this. But I did say that I had a special announcement. And it's not something revolutionary, okay? It's just some stuff that I got. So, anything more than one figure is a lot to me, you know, like getting figures at once. And for $90, I got a lot of bang for my buck here. So I was thankfully given the opportunity to get some Transformers. And like I said, anything more than one figure seems like a lot to me. So when I do get those things, you know, like when they do arrive uh, in well, at the post office, um, I will be showing them off in a video. One of which is the Voyager class Byway Nemesis Prime. Now, I really, really love this coloring. Uh, I could have gotten the purple flame one, but to be completely honest with you, I love this coloring for one reason, and that is because when I was younger, well, I say younger, it was like 2016, okay? Yeah, eight years ago, fair enough. Um, I got this KO of the Revenge of the Fallen leader class Optimus Prime. And it had the Age of Extinction head for some reason, but basically it was a, a knockoff of the Revenge of the Fallen leader Prime in this coloring. And it looked really, really cool. But obviously it was a KO and um, me from 2016 broke it. I, I would have loved to have gotten the metallic version of SS44 because of course, as much as I love my SS44, it can't transform because of that stupid fucking grill tab. It doesn't work. And it frustrates me so much because I love posing that figure. I love messing around with it, but I can't transform it, which irritates the hell out of me. And you know, ugh, I, I, I really, really wanted it. But of course, otherwise I really wanted this mold. I mean, sorry, the, this color scheme. And if I ended up getting that, like the metallic version of SS44, then I would have this version, that version, the official SS44, and I would have SS05. Three figures of which are exactly the same, and one that is just a slight retool. So yes, this version does come with all of those swords at the bottom, 
the, uh, the chest piece for Jetfire and an alternate face. I also ordered this KO of the SS Crowbar. Um, I know it seems completely random. Uh, this thing was cheap, man. It was only like 200 Rand, which is uh, like just over $10. So like dirt cheap, basically. That's like, I can't even get a core class for that in South Africa with that kind of money. That's like two thirds of a core class. But one uh, one of the, one of the reasons that I got this or ordered it, should I say, is that uh, I already have the last night deluxe class Berserker, who is basically the exact same thing as Crankcase, and um, that figure was my very first mainline like non gimmick transformer. Yes, he was the first transformer I got that wasn't like a one step changer or a flip and change or a power punch or something like that. That was my first proper transformer, and I got it the day I saw the last night, um, because the way my mall is, like where I go watch movies, is there's a toy store, and then the escalator to go up to the movies is in front of the toy store. So of course I went there, I got Berserker, and then I went and saw the movie. But anyway, that's beside the point. Next year we will be getting Hatchet, and I'll, I, you know, if I get this, I will have Crowbar, Crankcase, and Hatchet. So that is really cool. And also, I freaking love the crowbar head sculpt. I also got this Byway accessory kit for all the Optimus Primes. It does come with two axes, uh, both looking really, really good. Uh, it does come with a slightly bigger shield with an actual handle, so it doesn't have to hold it like Captain America holds his shield. You also get probably, if I'm gonna be honest, probably my favorite accessory, the Dark of the Moon shotgun. I absolutely love it because if you don't know, uh, I ended up getting two of the Rise of the Beast skull crunches because I wanted to turn one of them into the Dark of the Moon shotgun. And I did until I got Legacy Inferno and I decided to make that his gun instead. So yes, I did end up repainting it. This shotgun looks great. You also get a pair of the knucks or knuckle dusters, whatever you want to call them, that Prime uses to tear out half of Shockwave. Then you also get two of his ion blasters, which is going to be really cool with SSO5 to recreate that awesome scene from Revenge of the Fallen just before the forest battle. And speaking of the forest battle, again for SSO5, you have the Energon hooks, which he uses to tear Grindor's face apart which is going to look awesome uh, if Grindor wasn't in a box. And finally, the last thing that I got, which really was the main thing I wanted, is this beautiful motherfucker. And that is the Byway Jetfire. And oh my god, if you do not know, this figure is something that has meant a lot to me. And four years ago, it actually broke. Um, because I tried splitting it in half and it ended up breaking at the point where it connects to like the chest area. So it broke there and then the leg broke. It can still combine with SS44, but I've missed having the actual figure. So this is going to be so, so cool. I will of course explain the full story in my video of this guy, which I honestly don't even know if it's going to come this year. This year is a very busy year for me. But yes, the Byway Jetfire is something I'm very excited to get my hands on. And yeah, so in total, $90, I was able to order the KO of Crowbar, the KO, the Nemesis KO of SS44, the Byway Jetfire, and the Byway Accessory Kit. Um, I did get it from a reliable guy on AliExpress. I'm sure you know who is DP Robot Store. If you've ever gone on AliExpress, he did in fact sell me my leader class Tarn. Yes, I said leader class. Um, things from AliExpress usually took like um, three months to get here, maybe four months. This only took one month. So I'm hoping that this could only take a month as well. Uh, they've yet to be shipped as of right now. But yeah, I'm very, very, very excited for when they come because that is going to be probably one of, if not the best unboxings I'm ever going to do. I don't even think I'm going to unbox it on like on camera. I think I'm actually just going to savor the moment for myself because that is going to be so freaking awesome. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe and 
Goodbye.